welcome to another video. So, Claude 3.5 Haiku is now available as an API for use, which means that now we can use it as much as we want. It was announced alongside the new Claude 3.5 Sonnet, but wasn't available. Now, they have finally made it accessible. So, let's talk about it and test it. First of all, if we discuss the pricing, it's very affordable especially considering the sonnet's pricing, which is pretty good to see. With prompt catching, it becomes even cheaper, which is also amazing. I'll be doing two things today with this model. First, I'll test it, and then we'll also use it with Klein and Ader to see how well it performs in a proper AI coding scenario. Now, for testing, I won't make you go through the process of testing it and I'll directly show you the charts here. I'll make a full testing video, if you would want to see it for some reason, in the Members Only section. Anyway, it almost passed all questions, except two of them. The Diagonal Test and the English Adjective Test, which is a little expected. Since Claude 3.5 Sonnet also didn't pass the English Test, and, although Sonnet passed the Diagonal Question, Haiku fails to do so, which is also a bit disappointing, but that's fine. For the coding questions, Haiku nailed them. It handled the butterfly question quite well, and the butterfly looked amazing, while the game of life was also amazing to use and watch, and the other questions were obviously pretty good. This is really a great model, at least in coding. Although, I don't think this is comparable to GPT-4 O-Mini, as GPT-4 O-Mini has a big price difference, but it's pretty good for sure in its own category. Now, let's test it out in a full AI coding scenario. But before we do that, I'd like to show the Ader leaderboards. So, Haiku now sits in fourth position below the previous Sonnet, which means that it's almost similar to Sonnet, but cheaper which is just amazing, to say the least. Anyway, let's start with Klein. So, first, make sure you upgrade Klein, because they've pushed some new updates to it, making it much more compatible with Haiku. Once done, just open it up. Now, here, go to the settings, choose Anthropic, and set it up with your API key. Now, let's get started with some prompting. I'll do similar testing to what I did with Sonnet. So, we'll try to create mobile apps with Expo. So, I have an Expo project set up here, and now let's ask it to make a one-page weather app that looks sleek and modern, with icons and everything. Let's see if it can do this or not. Okay, it's doing that. Let's wait a bit. And it's now done. So, it did this pretty well. We have the code here and everything. But let's run it and check it for ourselves. Hmm. This looks pretty fine. I have no complaints here, which is just amazing. And it did what was asked. So, it is also good at following instructions like Sonnet. This is amazing. The cost here is also much cheaper than what I would have spent with Sonnet. It looks pretty good. I mean, if someone told me this was the Sonnet model, I'd probably not think much about it and just accept it as Sonnet, 
which says a lot about this model. Now, let's also try it out with Ader and see how it performs with Ader. Ader has also pushed some updates to make it fully compatible with the new Haiku model, and you can just use it with the Haiku flag, which is amazing. There are also some other good upgrades if you want to use them. Using it with Ader is quite simple. First, upgrade your Ader like this. Once it has been upgraded, just export your API key like this, and then just start Ader with the Haiku flag. Now, you can see that it gets started with the new Haiku. Let's just get started with it. I have made another Expo app here, and this time, I'll ask it to make a Calorie Tracker app. Let's see how good of an app it can create. Okay, it's working now. Let's wait a bit. And it's now done. So, the code is generated and everything. Let's just run it and check as well. Okay, this looks pretty good for a one-shot generation. I literally think they may have just distilled Sonnet at a lower price because it's very good and very similar to Sonnet from what I see. So, this is just amazing. I think this Haiku model is pretty amazing to use. It's just amazing, to say the least. I mean, if you use the free $5 credits that Anthropic provides, then you can use it for quite a while without much issue, which is just amazing. I think it's even easier now to keep your prices low while getting a better experience than something like Cursor. This is just amazing to use. I hope they also add a computer use API to be used with Haiku because that would make it so much more amazing to literally use Haiku on a much higher scale without exhausting through a bunch of tokens. I'll be bringing out some more cool videos that I have in mind with this model, so stay tuned for that as well. This could be the new Sonnet for me, because I think I'll just be replacing Sonnet with this model, because the pricing difference is huge and the performance is quite smaller. So. This is a much more economical thing for sure. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then. Bye.